our geeky science for the day are the oceans developing amnesia. This is a pretty startling story. I had no idea. I did not know about this. This was just published, a new study just published in Science Advances, a peer-reviewed scientific journal, that the, the suggests the sea is losing its memory. Well, what's its memory? Well, it turns out that the top layer of the ocean is kind of like memory foam, you know, that stuff you can put on top of your mattress. When things happen, it kind of remembers them. It moves slowly. It changes slowly. It adjusts to circumstances very, very slowly. Uh, yeah, I mean, like over periods of years or, or decades or even centuries because it's stable. Well, what's happening as a result of global warming is that the ocean, that uh, top layer of the ocean has become unstable. And so, much like our weather is becoming unstable, except that the oceans drive our weather more than the weather drives the oceans. In fact, the principal thing that drives our weather is the oceans. And it turns out that this failure of memory by the oceans, the failure to remember what temperature they normally are or how they normally flow or how much oxygen is in what layers, that failure to remember is why we had 116 degree temperatures here in Portland for three days last, last June. And this is a huge concern because fisheries, for example, depend on a stable ocean. Unstable ocean conditions can also in influence temperature, precipitation, and extreme weather events all around the world, and your marine populations of course, uh, require a stable environment. So this is, I mean, this is, uh, it's like every day we learn something new, some more new science that points out how, t how potentially dangerous the lies that the fossil fuel industry has been telling us for 50 years that their product doesn't cause climate change are and have been. It's truly, truly extraordinary.